I have to be careful. Don't worry, I'm not fearful. It's just that some hear my words and think, oh, that brother is weak. All the time, I know the truth. My words are just too deep. I'm a poet. I give words life as easily as judges give it to brothers. Push it out of my head with the pride and pain of a delivering mother. With a pen in my hand, my words take flight, launching freedom with each stroke that I write. I'm a poet. My words tell stories, analyze, and inspire dreams, from the deeply political to the way straight up I've seen. I write with such color that you feel my words too. You don't just hear what I'm saying, you see what I want you to. I'm a poet. Roses are red and violets are blue, blue like the Caribbean Sea on a calm day. Day and night become one when we are together, together like a left shoe and a right. Right by my side is where I need my love. Love yourself, your community, and your people. People have died so that you can be. Beware of the pitfalls of greed and jealousy. Jealousy has killed more people than war ever has. Has everyone lost their common sense since I got your attention? Did I forget to mention? I'm a poet. Swoo, how y'all doing this morning? Y'all okay? You sure? I know chapel's a little different this morning, but what can I say? We're here to do a little work today. The program that I'm going to do is based on my last book called Five. It's, I changed the name to Five. It's an interesting story because it's Black History Month. It started out, the title of the book was The Five Black People You Meet before you can get to heaven, a morality tale. And I went to a book conference and I met with some publishers and I talked to them, I showed them the book and they read and they did all these reviews and they said, well, Bryant, you know, if you want to sell this book, you're going to make some people afraid because you got the word black and morality in it. I said, what? I said, yeah, you, you're not going to sell this book unless you only want to sell it to black people unless you only want to sell it to people who don't care about Christianity and don't understand the love of God. They said, so you're going to have to change the title of the book. And I fought and I fought and I resisted and I said, mm. But then I realized that was my ego talking. I have a message. And it's important for me to get the message out. So I don't mind changing the name of the book because the message is still the same. So now it's not the five black people you meet before you get to heaven, a morality tale. It's called Five, a human potential story. And I'm going to share with you some of that potential. The poem I just did was written by the main character of the book. Okay, so what? I really wrote it, but in character. And so that poem talks about a story, and it talks about what's going on with the